Good evening, Amagrove Charter School families. Good evening. We hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. I know I enjoyed these last several days with my family. How about you? How was I your absolutely did too. I cooked for 16 people. Oh, wow. It was hectic, but it was really wonderful being together, spending that time together as a family. Yeah. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed your vacation for Thanksgiving and then so that big event just happened and then this upcoming week we have another big event our holiday show so boys and girls I know you have been practicing mm -hmm. we have heard you every day singing we've seen you dancing um, such you guys are doing a great job so moms and dads and grandmas and aunts and uncles and everyone that is coming out to see the holiday show we know you are going to be very mm -hmm. excited and impressed very to see impressed. the amazing show um, so today we are starting our December theme which is the season of giving so our first book is The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. He's the author and the illustrator. Once there, oh, here we go. We can show the pictures. Yes. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up on her trunk, you see him back there? And swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. Down there, there's a heart and it says me and T. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Well, can you see how tall the boy is getting in the picture? But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Do you see how now there's two hearts? There was me and the tree, and then me and someone else. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat my apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up to the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, Climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy, she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. 
I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Well, that sure was a giving tree. Sure was. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. It was wonderful to be here with you again tonight. Um, I am so happy, and we are really looking forward to next week. Have a great night. Have a great night.